Yo, 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 good morning, what up? Grateful for another maggot-free day above the dirt. Jersey Lake at the Jersey Shore. So, um, I was having a conversation with someone and they were really stuck on how do I know I'm spiritual? Like, I want to be spiritual, but I don't feel spiritual. Um, what does spiritual practice feel like? How do I know I'm being spiritual? So, um, I thought I'd speak a little about that because I think that's something we all go through. Um, so let me name this video real quick. Uh, Wanting to be spiritual is being spiritual. That's the name, okay. Just uh, off the top of my head, because you didn't really think about a title. Um, first of all, spirituality is not a feeling. Feelings come and go, they're based on temporary conditions. Um, you know, I understand why people say, what does it feel like? That's our experience of what we think, what we feel. Um, but at the same time, there's also expectations attached to um, to all that in the sense of that spirituality should feel different than our quote normal feeling and then we attach expectations to something um, different than what is um, some kind of lofty um, sometimes supernatural sometimes you, you know um, something not worldly, not of the material world. Um, so let me get back to the title of the video. The desire to be spiritual, the pursuit of spirituality, the aspiration to be spiritual is in fact spirituality. That's how it feels. The longing to um, find some kind of wholeness where we don't feel that. Um, my teachers talk a lot about we have a hole in our heart and we spend some people our whole lives trying to fill it um, with the wrong things and we suffer tremendously. And that what we really should be feel, uh, filling this hole with is the pursuit of spirituality, which is simply not filling it with the wrong things, to fill it with um, wholesome, healthy um, thoughts, mindsets, activities, and um, not fill them with with things that uh, just are simply instant gratification to satisfy the sense pleasures. So that longing, that wanting to fill the hole in the heart, that, that intrinsic knowledge that we're not happy with the way our life is, that, that something's missing or something's wrong, um, that, and, and that something needs to change, within us and without us. Now we can't change the world, the nature of existence, but we can change our place in and our relationship. So that's what I mean when I say change outside us, is we change our interaction relationship with, uh, with the world, with the material world, with, with, with pain, with change, with, with conditionality, with all that. And um, if you don't know what those things are or how they apply in this context, you can check out other videos. You can always feel free to message me with questions. But um, most, sadly, most people will go through a whole long life. And let's face it, it's a, it could be a long life, but it goes by like that, right? So go by, the whole life goes by without ever doing anything more than skimming the surface of um, sense pleasure. There's lots of people that have for a lack of better words, happy lives. We always try to say, oh, well, pe people that aren't spiritual are miserable people and we feel sorry for them or whatever. That's wrong. 
there are plenty of people that have on a, on, on a very different level, happy, satisfying lives, but never really know what they're missing for whatever reason. It, it, it's not their time to really inquire or go deeper. Um, but they're not having unhappy lives. They're just not have, having the most fulfilled life they, that, that, that they can have. Now, for whatever reason, people right now and that are, are, are seeking spirituality, for whatever reason, we've reached a point in our incarnation, in our karma, that we want to go deeper. We know we need to go deeper. That, the you know, yeah, we can be relatively happy with a, a, a pretty much superficial material life. But that's the key word, relative. It's happiness shouldn't be relative to how we're satisfied or, or, um, or what we attain or um, expectations being met. Happiness um, is a greater thing than that. It's actually found in the satisfaction of not needing to be happy based on those temporary conditions. And I, I strayed a little into happiness, but it, it's those human needs of being happy, being satisfied, being loved um, are, the, are the essence of our spiritual practice. And, and when we seek them um, in, in sense pleasure objects, it's fleeting and it's not gratifying. And it's extremely gratifying not to seek them. So that's why spirituality is the desire to be spiritual. Is that, you know, we might not feel like we're grabbing onto something and have a hold or a handle on spirituality, but we can really be in touch with what we're letting go of in the pursuit of that. And that's the process. Um, so it's kind of hard to accept going from a life of seeking gratification through attainment and then suddenly seeking gratification through not desiring to attain. It's flipping the script. That's why Noah says it's against the stream. That's why it's revolutionary and, and counterintuitive. It goes against all our um, survival instincts to, uh, to renunciate, to um, rather than add, but to um, take away and give up. Um, and giving up in a sense of not quitting, but giving up in a sense of um, letting go of our old way of thinking, our old behavior, habitual reactivity, um, how we dealt with things in terms of, um, I feel bad, I'm now gonna do this to feel good. And to, to not get caught in, in, in that vicious samsara circle. So, um, Spirituality in a material world is not feeling something other or greater than or mystical or, or um, esoteric. It's actually just, dare I say, feeling nothing. And I don't mean we don't feel. Of course, that's not what I feel. But we're not, we don't have to have some extra ordinary emotional feeling experience that takes us away from what we consider mundane or worldly. It's actually just being able to function within this world free of it all. It doesn't mean we don't deal with what we need to deal with. It just means that we're not dragged around by the chains of how what we expect and what we want and what we desire and, and all of this um, entanglement that drags us down. So don't look to feel spiritual. Look at what you do. Look at the action, the skillfulness, not how it feels, but it's the intention behind it and the appropriateness of it. 
and, and, and realize that just the longing and desire and aspiration to be spiritual is being spiritual. So I went on a little long and kind of took a, um, uh, a roundabout way to make some of my points. There's an, I'll, I'll end with a Zen Cohen. The Zen master asked the student, how do you walk straight on a road with 99 curves? So disclaimer, spoiler alert, I'm gonna answer it. So shut it off now if you don't wanna know the answer and you wanna ponder it and come back and listen. The answer is you follow the curves. The only way to walk straight on a curved road is to follow the curves. Then you're walking straight. Peace out. Have a great maggot-free day above the dirt. Jersey Lake at the Jersey Shore. Peace out.